Hi there, Emilius here. Today I'm going to show you another beautiful PowerPoint presentation you can use. Let's check it out. So this is the presentation. How is it going to look like? So I'm using an example of SWOT analysis. can be anything you can use for engaging this presentation. So yeah, as you can see, as the way and the reverse and you can use it so okay let's build it from the scratch if so far you like what you see please subscribe my channel ring the bell button to don't miss upcoming video so let's dive in open the new powerpoint and uh, we can start to build it from scratch okay First thing first, we're going to insert like four more slides. I'm going to go to insert new slide. So I'm going to go for a blank one. So select this blank one, press shift and enter twice. So you're going to increase two more slides in this case. I prepare four or more images already. I'm going to use the same I use in there. So I'm going to go for the first one, TCD. Okay. So go to the second one, select again. These lights, very attractive one. Go cool. and the third one and the last one. Perfect. So. I have already four images. Next step is use those images as a background. We're gonna select it, right click on the mouse and cut it out or control X. And again, right click format background and open it picture and texture and clipboard. So we paste it exactly there. We can uh, drag image and pull it to stretch, but that's a uh, long way. So here for me, quickest and the format background and the picture or text field clipboard that's done next copy cut K okay. and format background picture and text field clipboard next one and the last we select the picture and right click cut K okay. here format background and picture and text field clipboard and we are there okay back to the first image in here we're gonna go for this shape last one draw it as you wish okay size perfect for me isn't more than enough for what i'm trying to reveal select the shape shape format here and you go to align align to the center and then again align to the middle so it's gonna go exactly in there if you want to see if it's right go to the view and use the guide so you're gonna see exactly the guide in the middle i don't need the guide in this one take it out so what i want to do in next in this case is format shape and take away the outline i don't want it and here select the shape and give it white color transparency and i'm gonna go for 26 to give me more subtle background now i have this shape as i want it what i'm gonna do is take it copy it for all other slides just do ctrl c and go to the slide ctrl v and the next slide so in here ctrl c and in here ctrl v and the last one ctrl v in the first one select this we have a shape now we're gonna go insert this time we're gonna insert the letters we're gonna insert the letters first one is a letter s okay for swat come on home here and give it and i use the impact font we have impact and give it the size 400 and enter okay it's a big letter in this case with impact so now drag it and adjust it as you like and release it now next step before i subtract it i'm gonna copy this letter to the other slides okay you will see why i'm doing that click in here and you make sure you just select the letter and copy c and here copy v and then again next one copy v and the last one the same control v control v okay back to the first one and now we can subtract this letter from this background to see through the letter the background image okay so this point we have this and uh, 
select the shape and press shift and select the letter and go to the shape format and merge shape and subtract you can see this effect which is stunning next one i can do all for the all the letters we're going to use all the this one we need a w for the weaknesses the first s is for strength drag it until uh, where you want and release it do the same select the background first background for the letter which is this shape and then press enter or press shift and select the the letter w and do the same shape you know already how it work by now subtract so you can see through next one and do the same i'm gonna speed it out to so don't make the video long so but you still can follow We have this stunning background in there as well from now on what i'm gonna do is go back to the first slide in the first slide we can into uh insert again letter box just come in here this side insert and text box so just press that and draw the box and the type whatever you like appropriate content for the slide you would like so to save your time and make this video don't be that long i prepared already i'm gonna copy the text from the preview uh, presentation i prepared all the templates so uh, saying that i will put templates in the description if you would like use it feel free download it and use it customize change the image put the appropriate content increase the duplicate more slide and make it as you wish so copying this okay go back to the slide we uh the presentation we building Control v i have this already in here letter and appropriate content and go to the second slide i can do the same for weakness for weaknesses i select this and select this one and copy it and yeah if you use Control tab you can move uh further and come back so here i have this Control v and appropriate drag it to the wheeling position and release it so going back alt tab you move from the previous slide or preview uh, windows you have opening and to the other okay so shift select copy Control c and alt tab you move back to where you are okay so here Control v I have already this content here and select the next slide and alt tab i'm going to copy the other content i have already in the previous uh no templates i will put it in the description and so feel free so now go back and paste the last one so so far you have all the thing um i wish i prepared to show you how to build it properly okay so this means that and test and select that and come back so before we see the final result we're gonna do the thing so select one of the layer or one of the slide and uh, control a to select all the rest and transition i will go for this transition was the one i use in the prototype okay so now you can see the final result let's have a look the final result we are like that strength weaknesses opportunities and uh, traits so yes a reverse one you can use this kind of presentation build it from scratch as you see and is more attractive and clean yeah for your business school whatever you want as a student or teacher you can use this and uh, believe me uh, if you are a student the teacher gonna enjoy it and pay attention if you are a teacher your students will really like and listening 
engaging with your class, with your presentation. Thank you to stay until the end. See you in the next one.